order to replace a PFC 4410 RC with the new PFC 4410 G3, first shut off the main AC power at the circuit breaker. The AC trouble light will illuminate. To fully power down the panel, disconnect the batteries and remove them from the enclosure and set aside. Next, you will need to remove the dead front to gain access to the AC power terminals. Disconnect the AC power connections at the panel. Disconnect any zone wiring as well. Remove the two screws holding the board to the enclosure. Lift the board up and out of the enclosure and set aside in a safe location. Disconnect the conduit. Remove the door by gently lifting upwards and set aside. Remove the screws holding the enclosure to the wall and remove the enclosure and set aside. The main circuit board of the new PFC 4410G3 will need to be removed before attempting to mount the enclosure. Start by removing the two screws holding the dead front. Carefully lift the dead front up and out of the enclosure to remove the top left screw that connects the door ground strap to the main enclosure. The door can now be removed by gently lifting upwards and setting aside. Now, remove the five remaining screws holding the board to the enclosure. Lift the board up and out of the enclosure and set aside in a safe location. If this is a new installation, remember that the enclosure should be mounted in a convenient location, approximately five feet from the floor, where it will be accessible for testing and service. The enclosure may be surface mounted or semi-flush mounted using an optional trim bezel. If this is a replacement installation, line up the conduit and mount the new PFC 4410G3 enclosure. The new enclosure fits in the same footprint as the previous generation. Install all required conduit, external wiring, and points, and make all connections that are external to the panel. Install the new board into the enclosure using the previously removed screws. If the door was removed, install the upper left screw loosely as it will have to be removed again later. The panel is auto sensing for 120 or 240 volt AC at either 50 or 60 Hertz. The AC terminals are located in the upper left hand portion of the main board and are labeled AC power. With the AC power still turned off at the circuit breaker, make the AC connections at the panel. The earth ground connection is located on the mounting rail. The line and neutral connections are located on TB1. Fold the insulation protecting TB1 to the side to gain access. Connect the standby batteries with the cable provided. Be sure to observe polarity. Make all other wiring connections as needed. Reinstall the cabinet door by lining up the hinge pins and pressing down firmly. Reinstall the door ground strap by removing the upper left screw and inserting it through the terminal ring and reinstalling it. Reinstall the dead front and secure with mounted screws. Be sure to route the ground strap through the opening in the dead front. Turn the power on at the circuit breaker and wait for the panel to fully start up. This may take a few moments. You have now successfully installed the new PFC 4410 G3.